Ik heb een fan van Pan. Er is een Pan hier. Underneath, mate. Oh, Pan, je just have to wiggle it through, yeah? Yes, that's on it. Yes, that one's in. Hello, good evening. And we are on another beach, another beach in Puerto Ventura. There's Pete. Pete is setting his stuff up, Easy getting enough. a big, big bait out. We are in Costa Carma area. We've been there before, a um, couple of nights ago. Didn't have a very good session. We're on Matas Blanca, the beach just outside of Costa Carma. And it's one of the original beaches, the original beaches from sort of 10, 11 years ago. Um, had some good sessions here. Can also throw up nothing. Like all beaches in Puerto Ventura, you can fish them for seven nights in a row. Six of them you could blank. And then the seventh night, you could get the fish you want. It's just the way it is. You could go to one beach every night, a different beach. You can get fish at each of these beaches, but it doesn't mean they produce every night. So you've just got to be in it to win it. Get your bait in the water and hope for the best. That's what we're doing. So I'm going to get set up now and quickly show you what we're doing. Right, where is it? Where did I put it? My, there we go. My pulley pen a wig. Me and Pete are fishing that. 170. I haven't lost one yet. Oh no, commentator's curse. Flipped on. Flipped on. Ready for bait. Now, we have been to the supermarket today and we've got slightly different bait. We have gone in there and got chicharros, basically. Tiny little horse back haul. Ideal size for a whole fish on each. There we go, look at that. So I'm gonna take the tail off that and I'm gonna put that out whole. There we go, take the tail off there. And get that on the hook, bait elastic that on. So I'm gonna go behind the gill plate here, try and come out by the eye, like so. Bait elastic that on. Lovely. Very big tides at the moment. And I'm going to get that going up there. I'm going to go out the back end here. I'm going to go straight through the bait. Out the other side. Like so. There we go. And we're going to bait elastic that all the way up. Just because of nuisance fish, Pandoras, little baby fry of all the breams could pick this apart, but this is a lot more uh, durable than a sar sardine. So if you can see these or mackerel, get them. They are a little bit more durable, but sardines are more than good enough. I used sardines for years out here and caught many a good fish. There we go, look at that. Perfectly bait elastics on, ready to cast. So let's pick this up and we'll get this out there. Right, bite alarm's on that rod. Ready for it to fly off, hopefully. So let's see what happens. All right, let's set up this scratching rod. Big rod out. Phone call to the girlfriend, done.
Now it's time to see if there's anything else out there. Oh. Oh. Yeah, same bounce the big rod then. Oh. What is that? Something bounced it, mate, then. Good. Something bounced the big rod. Yeah. Didn't take line, but... We'll keep, keep them peeled. Who used to say that, keep them peeled? Oh, um, Sean Taylor. Sean Taylor? Yeah. Who was that? Was when it crime, no. Um, he's done a police program. On ITV? Yeah, keep them peeled. Keep them peeled. That's it, keep them peeled. Well, was it like um, we have done reenactments and stuff? Yes, I remember that. Yeah. Right, prawn is on the hooks. Let's get this out. See if we can get something on the scratching rod. Like one of these goes off there's definitely something on my big rod i think yeah little banging about well i'm getting little knocks on this big rod so i think there's little fish i'm gonna go at the bait so i am gonna bring it in check the bait probably get a new one on oh. Tangled up. Yeah, chewed. Chewed. So there we go, there is my bait. Eyes completely missing. Chewed on the back. And a little bit in the belly. That would have still caught me a fish. But we'll get a fresh one on now. Now, unfortunately, what I have found in my years of fishing here is that when you get a lot of nuisance tiny little fish the big fish are very few and far between so I'm hoping well I'm not saying that that means we won't get a big fish but I always have a lot better sessions on big fish when you've got none of this little fry activity on your bait. When it's completely quiet and when it's a little bit less beasty than it is here is always better than it is at the moment. But we got fresh baits in the water. So if anything comes cruising in, we're November, so it's a good time of year for smooth hounds. It's a good time of year for angel sharks. It's not the best time of year for butterfly ray. Any time of year is good for stingrays and there should still be bluefish about. So, and good bluefish. So there's a hope. Only takes one of them to go past my bait and pick it up. So let's get this out now. And see if we can snag something. Let's bring this scratching rod in. Ooh. 
Yeah, cleaned off. Hmm. That's not going back out. Well, this is pretty awful tonight. And this week, especially at night, as the tides have increased in size, the fishing has got progressively worse. And tonight is the, uh, the peak of poor fishing, isn't it, Pete? Not even a bite on the scratching rod in three hours. So, two bits of porn out, not a thing. Whatever's out there pecking at the big bait is tiny. We're in two minds here as to what to do. We may pack up. Well, we're in three minds. We may pack up. We may stick it out a bit longer. Well, my idea is to pack up and go somewhere else for a little bit. I don't think Pete's too happy with that one. No. But I'm the driver, so he does what I say. Yeah. Tell me you are. Driver. Driver. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, don't know what we're doing. But I know we're not catching fish. We're in. Pete is literally just brought his rod in to pack up and as he was doing it this rod has flown over I don't know what it is I don't think it's big it doesn't feel ray like either oh oh Pete could you get the camera mate could you get the camera What have we got here? Oh, it's very close now, mate, anyway. What have we got? Hold on, mate. Uh, it is a ray. It is a ray. Might be a butterfly. Small butterfly ray. It's quite in it. I think it might be a small butterfly ray. Oh, it's a ray. Is it? Yeah. Well, no, it's not. Oh, it's a little angel shark, is it? Yeah. Oh, we'll take that. I haven't had one for a while. Here he comes. Come on in. Oh, yes. Come on, mate. Lovely. Up you come. Up you come. Don't you dare. Come on. When that wave goes, I'll grab him. Come out. Hey! I'm happy with that, mate. There we go. We've got an angel shark on the neck. Look at that. Beautiful. Right. Is that here then, please? Have a look. That's what I'm going to do. Right, here we are. Angel shark. I said that earlier that this, the good time of year for these. 
And so I'm happy with that. I'm going to weigh him to see what he weighs. I think he's probably about 15, maybe 20 pounds. So uh, let's get him unhooked and see what he ticks the scales over at. Right, there are the scales. Well, 23 and a half, 24, we'll go 23 and a half pounds. Lovely. Let's get a photo of him. Right, Pete, do you want to try? Right, let's support this underneath. Oh, yeah. There he is there. Let's support his belly. I've got him in front of me. Now we're going to slide him back into the sea. And hope that he goes and swims off. Come on, where's the sea? Here it comes. Come on. Come on. Right, there he goes, he wants to go. He's gone. He is gone. Yes. Well done, Pete. Thanks, mate. We need to get a bait out now. What do you think? So, if that fish had decided to come along two minutes later, I would not have caught that. Pete had already got his rod in to pack up. I was just sending a message and then I was going to bring it in and it just started on the bite alarm, bouncing away. Um, so I was fumbling around with my phone, didn't get the, the bite um, and we caught an angel shark. So, funny enough, we're now fishing again. So we're going to give it a bit longer, Let's see what happens. You'd like one of them, wouldn't you Pete? Yeah, I you haven't had one. So, let's hope Pete gets the next one. It's an hour and a half on from that angel shark. And we've had diddly squat. <laughs> diddly squat. Diddly, diddly squat. squat. That's right, innit? Yeah, diddly squat, mate. Nothing, nothing at all. Not a bite, not a tickle. So we are on the verge of calling it a night. Let's hope the same thing happens. He pulls his rod in and I get a bite. We could try it. We could try. Let's give it another 10. 10. 10 more minutes. 10 more minutes. Well, it's just not happened. It's like quarter to two now. And we have been here all night. One fish. Let's call it a day.